already think is for the happiness of your life to that. Hello YouTubers, welcome to a do-it-yourself project with Locomotive 915. And today we're going to learn how to construct and assemble a photo booth. I have a preferred app that I like to use, but there are various apps out there. The app that I use has a website, and that website shows you step-by-step -step instructions how to create your own personal border. Also, you may want to forward the video just to check the contents to see if that is, this is something that you're going to like or if this is something that you're interested in. But just make sure that as you go through that video, come back to this point so that way I can share with you the very important details so that way you can construct your own personal photo booth with minimal complications. Again, with the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you get the app so it's going to be for an iPad and I recommend the iPad mini uh, the app is actually entitled the DIY wedding booth here it is right here and that's what it looks like it's fairly simple um, basically uh, whoever comes in pushes this button right here and no one ever has to push the home button and most of the time they don't even pay attention to it whenever they're in the photo booth. So it's a, a do-it-yourself photo booth. When you have your iPad connected and put into the holder, you want to make sure that it always has constant power on it. Uh, so make sure that whenever you do go set it up somewhere that you don't forget your power cord because uh, you're going to need power. I usually keep the ink close by. I use a HP because it has wireless direct printing. If you don't know what that is, it's basically there's a router built into your, your printer. And with this uh, feature, uh, you do not need internet access. <clears throat> you print directly from your device. The printer that I have is a Hewlett Packard DeskJet 2542. This is the printer right here. Fairly simple. Has uh, the door up here front. That's where the paper comes out. This is where you put the paper in. So, uh, pretty simple. Nothing special, but gets the job done first thing you do make sure you get that app and I'll have the link posted below and it's uh, from www.diyweddingbooth.com it was only like ten dollars uh, another thing that you'll have to get is a holder I bought this holder here on eBay I believe it was around fifteen dollars it came with a tripod and also a little remote button which I don't use anyways these um, are what make everything look professional. Why? Because these hide the seams and the curtains. To assemble your photo booth, you're going to need um, quite a few of these elbows. And you're going to need 10 elbows. And I used 3 quarter inch pipe. And this is just a plain pipe from for like a sprinkler system. And you can get this bundle for about $12 for a whole bundle if I think they're 10 foot long pipes and, I, and uh, the key is is whenever you do cut your pipe make sure you cut the longer pieces first and then cut the shorter pieces that you're going to need you get 10 of these elbows and then you're going to get 18 of these T's the cheapest material that I could find were bed sheets and I, I bought them I believe from Target and they're actually good quality uh, I bought three panels of um, black full-size flat sheets and then I bought three panels of white black and white sheets were sewn together uh, long ways and just on one side because all these curtains do is just drape over the PVC pipe you could use to cut your pipe you can use a hacksaw or you can use a cutter um, I bought a pipe cutter I think I got this one from Lowe's I didn't even check at Harbor Freight I should have I'm sure they're a lot cheaper there basically you measure your pipe you just put this on the on the little mouth there and just crank it down and then once it grabs it that's uh, that's it you just make sure it's straight just like that and then you just clench it down and as you can see it's fairly simple you know this this tool just comes in handy it uh, it's not a necessity you could use a hacksaw the hacksaws are are pretty cheap too but um, I believe if you pay just a little bit extra you can get this and you know if you don't want it later just put it on Greg's list or something uh, I wouldn't really um, uh, worry too much about the props a 
lot of the guests that you're going to have are just going to make goofy faces. They love glasses, you get some goofy glasses, a Phantom of the Opera mask, or inflatable football, soccer ball, anything. Uh, they like things like that. LED shop light, make sure you get one of these. These uh, come in handy. Uh, make sure it's LED, because if it's not LED, then it's it can get hot. Take my pills. Other things that you may want to do are build signs and I built this sign here. It's a photo booth sign. All it is is an image that I that I uh, screenshot on my phone from Google Images and I took this and I just printed me a copy of it, uh, 8 by 10 and then I built a frame with the scrap wood that I had in my garage. You know, look, it's just scrap wood. So um, I built this frame I snapped it together with the air stapler and uh, even this, this is all scrap wood and then the base, the base is just just uh, two by sixes and they have a little space in there so I mean it doesn't look super perfect but uh, whenever you do things like this if you paint it with black paint and that's what I had some extra black paint from is actually chalkboard paint. I painted it all black and, uh, and then after that, once that dried, I took just household paint to, for the walls in the house that were just left open. And I just took a brush and just kind of dabbed it on there, just as sloppy as I could, just to make it have a little rustic look to it. It's kind of a dead giveaway that, you know, their prompts are right in front of them on the table. But um, I thought this would just be a nice feature to make it look more professional. But again, like I said, scrap wood, look. I used two bins to put all my props in and my printer. So I have two bins, a table, um, my signs, and um, and then all the PVC pipe. If you like the video, uh, subscribe. Also, I'm gonna have links below for the app for the iPad Mini. Uh, I look forward to maybe hearing some comments of what you've done for your photo booth, and also pictures. If you have pictures of your photo booth, uh, I'd like to see those and maybe in another show that I can uh, show them and display them for people to see. Any ideas, i like to hear them. Uh, any stories, i like to hear those too. So just, uh, if you could, again, subscribe below. Uh, take a look at the links for the apps and as far as uh, the instructions on, on the lengths of the tubing, I'm going to, in below in the description, I'm going to have a list of the different sizes of tubing that you're going to need. So that way, you can just cut them, set them aside, and then in the instruction video on how to assemble it, you're going to see how simple it is to put this thing together. And, uh, I look forward to hearing from you and uh, enjoy your photo booth experience.
watching the video. If you like the video, make sure that you subscribe. Also, give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I'm doing. And below, you can leave a comment. I'd like to hear what you have done to modify your project and have simplified it in any kind of way. And I just love to hear about your project. So if you would, leave a comment below. And also, make sure that you read the description below. I'm going to have quite a bit of information in there for you. And uh, I just thank you for watching. I always take one thing to heart, and that is that my pops always told me that if you don't know how to do something, read the book. Do it yourself. Well, I'm here to tell you, watch the video. It's on YouTube. So thank you for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I look forward to hearing from you. Locomotive out.